Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Emmanuel, I'm an airline pilot and on this video we are going to show you how to fly a traffic pattern with a high performance general aviation aircraft. Now the reason I'm doing this video is because there are a couple things that you should anticipate and that you should be aware of when you are taking an airplane like the Analog Bonanza but also the Analog Baron or for the matter of fact any other high performance general aviation aircraft out there into the pattern. Now, especially between all those Cessna 150s and whatever they might be flying, there are a couple things that we should pay attention to when we go flying. So, the first thing is, try not to get behind the aircraft. You've got some huge engines over here, and they will produce an insane rate of climb, but you'll see what I mean in a few moments. The next important thing is to keep control at all times. So. Before we depart, let's think about a couple things. What actions do we need to take at what altitude? And what is our routing going to look like? When we have that in our mind, it will be much easier for us to determine the actual course of action during the traffic pattern and to keep ahead of the airplane. The one thing that I see the very most when simmers ask me what can I do better is that they are getting behind the airplane. So we don't want that to happen. So let's have a look into the traffic pattern that we're about to fly. We're currently at Emden Airport in northern Germany and this is the pattern. We're standing at runway 25, so our routing is leading us straight at along that highway, but we won't be able to see any of that because the nose of the airplane is going to obscure that. So we've got to look to the left or to the right. To the left is of course going to be easier. And we basically fly towards round about the end of the uh, city of Emden over here. Then we make the right hand turn onto our upwind leg and we are going to make our uh, turn onto the downwind just prior to the um, villages Westerhusen and Hinter up here. We'll basically fly along that little um, area where there is no village in between the villages. From there on we fly just in front of the Heaver Lake up here and then make our base turn just about um, to cross that little village up here and then the final turn just after the village onto the runway 25. We're going to do that at an altitude of a thousand feet. So that is what we have in mind for our navigation. Now let's go ahead and see how we're actually going to fly that. In terms of the Baron that we're flying right now, we are going to take off with full power, 400 feet above ground, so remember ground is just about zero elevation up here but it might be different on other airports so do get your mind set up for those altitudes where you want to do certain things so in our case at 400 feet we're going to reduce the rpm to 2500 and then approaching our pattern altitude of 1000 feet which is pre-selected we're going to reduce power and for the pattern we are going to use a manifold pressure of 15 and the rpms at 2000 and that should give us a speed somewhere in the region 120 or 130 knots. Now we are going to do flaps up takeoff, so um, things are going to go pretty quick there. Once we are abeam the landing runway on the downwind, we are going to lower the landing gear and extend the flaps into the approach position. And that is going to bring our speed nicely back towards somewhere around between 100 and 120 knots. And you really shouldn't try to go much faster than that. Ideally, you're aiming for about 100 knots there. All right, that is the entire procedure. Then as we turn final, we need to maintain our thousand feet until we start the turn towards the base. Once we're in the base, we can start our descent, extend the landing flaps, and then get ourselves down nicely. So that's the idea of what we are going to do. One small thing here that I'm working on outside of the checklist is the fuel boost pumps. In uh, my flight school, the instructors taught me like, if you have them, use them. Even though the procedure doesn't require us to use them, I've set them into the low position over here. And in the climb then we can turn them off at 400 feet above the ground when we are reducing our engine thrust as well. So that's basically what we have to have in mind when we are about to fly that traffic pattern. With the theory now set, let's go ahead and actually take this airplane flying. Okay, so quick last check. Flaps are up. The instruments are set as needed, lights are on, we can increase the mixture, and then we're ready to go. Oh, set takeoff thrust. The 
release the parking brake. Off we go. Eighty knots, rotate. Positive rates, tap the brakes, gear up. 150 knots is the best rate to climb in this airplane. Okay, 400 feet. RPM set and fuel pumps off. About to reach a thousand already, so let's start leveling off. And as we do so, thrust coming back. 15 inches and 2,000 RPMs. So we're reaching that end of the city that we had defined for our upwind lag. So let's make that turn into the upwind. Note that we are flying pretty high speeds in both the um, Baron and the Bonanza as well in most other high performance general aviation aircraft. So bank angles in the region 25 degrees are commonly seen over there even though we should um, normally fly Grade one turns in um, the traffic pattern. Okay, so on the upwind black, let's uh, try to see something and then we'll make our uh, turn into the downwind. This is the area where we should go above, so don't overfly that village up here, but don't use too much bank as well. And here we go, that's the area that. The downwind is leading us over. A little bit of turbulence here. Greetings from Microsoft Flight Simulator's weather engine. Okay, so now that we're in the downwind, let's try to spot that landing runway, which is down there. And once we're beam the airport, we are going to extend the landing gear and the flaps into the approach position. And at that point, also turn the fuel pumps back on again. So, speed's looking good. Gear down, flaps approach, increase thrust a little bit. 2020 normally works quite well in this airplane. Full pumps on, and there we go. Okay, so, as we said earlier, the base turn will be done prior to that lake. So, I'm going to fly around that farm down here so that we don't cause too much noise troubles. And then the base lag is just prior to the lake. Also, for now, maintain your 1,000 feet of altitude. I can see that I'm currently a little bit low here. Okay, and over we go. So, on the base leg, we've got that little village that we had from the chart over there. So, we're going to fly over that. At the same point in time, the speed is good, so landing flaps can come down. Here we go. And we can see our landing room way up there. Don't descend too quick. Approach speed in the region of 90 knots is good for this plane. So know your speeds well in advance so that you have some target values that you can aim for during the flight. Also have a good eye on the puppy to make sure that you don't accidentally get too low at this point. Okay, let's start a gentle and nice turn towards the final. And the final turn, what I do is I look at the runway and I search for a spot that's on the extended center line, like this little village over there. So that's what I'm aiming for right now, that is going to help me turning this airplane onto the final approach. And by imagining that um, imaginary extended center line, it is quite easy to time your uh, turn onto the final approach and do it without the need for a strong bank angle. Keep in mind, we're at a rather low speed right now, doing about 90 knots here. So we don't want to use excessive bank angles anymore. Okay, getting into the poppy, that's looking good. And here we go, nicely established on the final. A little bit below the puppies now, but they seem off anyway. Flare it. And here we are, welcome back to Emden. Alright, that's basically my entire trick behind flying in traffic pattern. 
in a high-performance aircraft. You can apply this to pretty much any general aviation aircraft, basically thinking forward, having those target speeds in mind that you will need to obey, and that is going to make your life a lot easier. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you, that you have learned something today, and if you did, then do let me know in the comments below. Likewise, I'm very eager to hear what you are doing different and how you have flown your traffic patterns so far. Now, I would like to thank you very much for joining, hope that you've learned something, and as always, if you want to support the channel, you can do that through the Buy Me Coffee link in the video description below, or by becoming a channel member, which is going to offer you exclusive early access to new videos before they are released for everybody else. For now, thank you for watching, and I'm looking forward to welcoming you all again very soon.